In the vast continuum of existence, where ancient stars whisper secrets from the dawn of time, there lies a wisdom as old as the wind, a wisdom that reveals the profound interconnectedness of life and the universe. This is the wisdom of Taoism, a philosophy etched into the very fabric of nature, carving its truths into the bedrock of history within the sprawling landscapes of ancient China. This is where the philosophy of the five elements was born, not as an idea, but as a foundational truth about the world we inhabit and the lives we lead. The five elements, wood, fire, earth, metal and water, are not mere substances but phases of nature, each with its own distinct life force or chi, transitioning from one phase to another in an eternal cycle that mirrors the seasons and the cycle of creation and transformation. It's said the universe itself is painted with the brush of these elements, each stroke on the cosmic canvas a reflection of their essence, and beneath this extraordinary celestial masterpiece is the human body, a microcosm where these same elements play out the symphony of life. In the tapestry of our beings, these elements represent phases of our health, our emotions and our spiritual essence. They are the keys that unlock the doors to harnessing the forces of nature for our well-being. The robust growth of wood, which in our bodies guides us to new beginnings and healing. The warm, transformative glow of fire that harnesses our zest for life. The stable, nurturing embrace of earth that roots us in calm and balance. The clear, sharp precision of metal that carves wisdom into our souls. And the depth and flow of water that connects us to our intuitive depths and adaptability. Taoist sages understood that by nurturing and balancing these elements within, one could ensure health and harmony, not only physically, but spiritually. This ancient balance is a dance of energies, a flow that, when cultivated, can amplify your spiritual power and assist you in bending the fabric of your reality. Through practices such as Qigong, acupuncture and meditative reflection, these sages harnessed these elemental forces, forged paths of enlightenment and realized the latent potential within their mortal coil. It is this ancient alchemy that offers us a vision of the world filled with magic and wonder where every gust of wind, flame of a candle and drop of water holds the potential to transform and empower us. By honoring and aligning with these natural cycles and phases, both around us and within us, we tap into a source of power that is as timeless as the universe itself. In understanding how the macrocosm mirrors the microcosm, realizing that our bodies and spirits reflect the world, we learn to navigate life with the artfulness of a sacred dance choreographed by the elements. Thus, to walk the path of the five elements is to wield the power of nature itself, to use this ancient knowledge to enrich your body, elevate your mind and awaken your spirit. For in this balance, in this flow, we find the key to profound health, to personal power and to the sacred wisdom that teaches us how to dance to the rhythm of the cosmos and bend reality to our divine will. In the grand dance of the universe where elements play their part in the eternal cycle of life, wood is the herald of spring, the harbinger of awakening and the vital surge of new beginnings. It is the time when the world itself seems to take a deep, life-infused breath, casting off the slumber of winter and adorning itself in a blanket of vibrant green. This phase of the wood element without us stirs the same element within, awakening the soul to a time of personal renaissance, inviting us to unfurl alongside nature, reaching towards the heavens with open hearts and an invigorated spirit. As dawn breaks and light spills across the sylvan canopy, we're reminded of the emotionally charged energy of wood, raw and brimming with potential. It crackles with the promise of new endeavors, like the sweet heady scent of sap rushing through the veins of ancient trees. To witness a forest in the pomp of spring is to watch a world in the tender throes of rebirth, and it's here, in this visual feast of life, that we find Wood's most profound teachings. 
The trees stand tall, whispering secrets of endurance, whispering to our wood-dominant spirit that growth, though sometimes arduous, is as natural a process as the sunrise. We see, too, the harmony of elements, the way wood is fed by water, the gentle, nurturing rain that caresses each leaf, revitalizing and imbuing it with the essence of life. Just as the rain invigorates the forest, we must hydrate our ambitions and feed our creativity. For the element of wood is at its most potent when it is nurtured. And nurturing comes in many forms, from the physical sustenance we derive from nutrient-rich superfoods teeming with life energy, to the emotional and spiritual nourishment we find in the calm reprieve of a walk beneath the sheltering arms of trees. Yet, in this alchemy of existence, where every action is met with an equal and corresponding reaction, wood is kept in check by the unbending strength of metal. It is metal that curtails the untamed growth of wood with the sharp edge of discipline and the shearing blades of order. In this is a lesson of balance and boundaries. As we weave the way of wood into the fabric of our practice, we too must learn the art of pruning, knowing what habits to shear away, what thoughts to sculpt, so that our growth is not wild and untamed, but directed with intention toward the light of our true purpose. In incorporating these interactions into our practice, we must be mindful of the dance between nourishing and controlling, allowing our creativity to flow as freely as the sap in spring, while also sculpting it with the precision of a master craftsman. This might manifest in the elegance of a Qigong form that emulates the strength and grace of a bamboo, or it could be found in a deliberate choice to introduce seasonal greens into our diet that align with this time of burgeoning life. It's about embracing the wood energy when it's at its seasonal zenith, feeling its robust qi infuse our practices and channeling that into personal growth, renewal and artistic expression. In this sacred time of year, when life bursts from every bud and birdsong fills the air, we are called, in our own ways, to mirror this miraculous transformation. To engage with the wood element within us is to ride the current of the Earth's vivacious upswing, to channel the creative burst of spring into our endeavors, our dreams, and the boundless canvas of our lives. It is not just a practice, but a profound communion with the elemental force that drives the universe. A dance with the very rhythm of creation. One that, if mastered, empowers us to not just witness reality, but to bend it to our will with the supple strength of burgeoning trees. As the wheel of the year turns and high summer reigns with its long, languorous days, the element of fire claims its dominion, painting the world with the vibrant hues of its season. It is the zenith of life's warmth, the crescendo of the sun's song, heralding a time when the world feels alive with an incandescent glow. It is during this season, illuminated by the longest and brightest days, that fire's element, without blazes in symphony with the fire within, igniting our innermost core with an energy that is both transformative and transcendent. This season of fire beckons us to revel in the fullness of life, to luxuriate in the abundance of light that streams unfettered through nature's canopy. It affects the same element within us, kindling our passions and fanning the flames of our creativity and drive. Our hearts, like the earthen forge, burn with the potential to mold and reshape our desires into manifestations of tangible joy. Within this season, lovers' glances sparkle with a higher luminance, the laughter of friends echoes with a richer resonance, and the pursuit of one's dreams burns with a fierceness as potent as the noonday sun. Fire's role in the grand tapestry of existence is eternally dynamic. Nothing remains untouched by its influence. It is fed by the burgeoning life force of wood, just as the trees that fuel a campfire. The verdant energy of spring, the sprouting seeds and leaves, are the kindling that prepares us for summer's blaze. 
That surge of new life intensifying into the passionate power of fire serves as a reminder that our own growth and ascension are natural precursors to the fulmination of our deepest joys and desires. Conversely, while fire burns brightest, it is gently tempered by the nourishing embrace of water, the tranquil lakes and softly flowing streams that assuage the searing heat of day. This is a reflection of our need for balance. The wild, untamed flame within must sometimes lap gently against the shores of our calm, lest it reach too voraciously into the fuel of our resources and leave only ashes in its wake. Awareness of this elemental balance allows us to incorporate water's cooling restraint into our practice. We imbibe the soothing nature of water to temper our fire, integrating practices like deep emotional reflection and fluid movement meditation into the vibrancy of our fiery endeavors. The mastery of fire also demands an understanding of its shadowy counterpart, metal, the sharp, cool element that controls fire's expansive nature. Just as a metal cauldron contains the wildness of its flames, so too must we contain and direct our passions with the boundaries and structure provided by metal. This involves incorporating disciplined practices into our seasonal journey, implementing schedules that harness our zealous summer energy while also ensuring we remain focused and purposeful. In the heat of summer, we are called to stoke our inner fire with the determination of the bright sun above, allowing it to purify our intentions, to throw stark light upon our paths, revealing unexplored trails that beckon with the whisper of adventure. It is here, in the embrace of fire's reign, that we learn the dance of the flame, a dance of wild exuberance tempered with graceful harmony. Thus, to embody the element of fire, to draw upon its boundless capacity for joy, love, and spiritual awakening, we must mirror the art of the natural world. We allow the summer's fire to shine through us, not only in the heat of passion and connection, but in the glow of enlightened awareness. We harness the feeding force of wood to grow our inner flame and the controlling coolness of metal to sculpt it into a beacon of change and renewal. We adopt the spirit of the bonfire that gathers kindred souls and the solitary candle that invites contemplation. Understanding that fire in all its incarnations is our eternal guide through the season of light, a radiant force that propels us with its blazing heart toward a reality of our own magnificent design. As the vibrant tapestry of the year unfurls and the intense blaze of summer begins to soften, there arrives a season when the world takes a gentle, nourishing breath. The domain of the earth element, this time, is marked by the golden hue of late summer. The season of harvest, when the sun's fiery rain yields to a period of contentment and abundance, a time when the earth element manifests with profound generosity and quiet dignity. The fields swell with the fruit of labor, and there's a feeling of deep satisfaction that seeps into the soil and soul alike. The earth element is the bedrock of existence, the fertile ground from which life unfurls, and the steadying force that holds the rhythmic pulse of nature in a grounding embrace. In this season of earth supremacy, our internal landscapes reflect its qualities, encouraging a rich sense of stability, thoughtful reflection, and the wisdom to pause and absorb the splendor of the moment. This phase of Earth stirs within us the desire for harmony, whispers tales of interconnectedness, and reveals the potent tranquility that lies in nurturing self and others. The Earth element is at once the caretaker and the nurtured, receiving the nourishment of late summer rains that quench the parched soil and allowing for the celebration of yields. Within us, this element craves the same nourishing care, a harmony of the body-mind continuum that springs from sustained wellness and emotional balance. 
Just as the nutrient-dense bounty of the earth feeds the myriad creatures, so too must we turn inward and feed our core with the sustenance of positive thoughts, restorative energies, and the wholesome nourishment that this season provides in abundance. Our practice during this bountiful time becomes a homage to the earth, an immersion in the energies that support and give life. The gravitational pull of Earth keeps us centered and mindful amid life's dizzying motions. Observing the foundational role of Earth urges us to cultivate inner serenity and strength. It's a call to root down in our meditations, to visualize ourselves as mountains, millennia-old sentinels of stillness and wisdom. This earthbound meditation permeates our being with solidity and calm, allowing the aberrance of life's turbulences to erode away against our resolute composure. Yet Earth does not exist in isolation. Within the grand choreography of the elements, it both feeds from and is controlled by its brethren, and bringing this dynamic into our practice ensures holistic equilibrium with the natural world. The element of fire, with its passionate and creative exuberance, lends a warming generosity that ripens the promise of Earth. We embody this nurturing fire to feed our Earth within, taking cues from the sun's radiance to bring gentle warmth to our nurturing practices and relationships. We cultivate a fire in the belly, the will to support ourselves and those around us with an enduring and compassionate strength. Simultaneously, the element of metal looming on the seasonal horizon provides a thoughtful counterbalance to Earth's boundless fertility. Metal instills order, refining Earth's abundance with a sharpness that brings clarity and direction. In our own lives, this is reflected in the creation and adherence to routines that structure our days, the discipline that extracts value from Earth's sprawling kindness, and the commitment to carving a meaningful existence from the clay of our earthly experiences. To walk tenderly upon the earth during this season is to embody her ultimate teachings of sustaining and being sustained. We cultivate the art of reciprocity, understanding that to receive, we must also give. Our actions mirror the cycles of nature, a cyclical give and take that harmonizes our relationship with the world. We find in this element the profound balance between nurturing self-care and the care we extend to others. Earth's calling is one of peaceful coexistence and support, a solid framework upon which the spontaneity of life flourishes. In the season of Earth, we are beckoned to honor the grounding soil as our own inner sanctum, a sanctuary where we can lay down roots that delve deep and reach wide. We cherish the touching weight of the grain in our hands, the plenitude that steadies our spirit, and the rich tapestry we weave from this element's unyielding constancy. Nourished by the season's fruit, humbled by the earth's timeless wisdom, and enriched by a sensitivity to life's beautiful dependencies, we engage the world and its myriad experiences from a place of resonant stillness, a firm yet fertile ground upon which reality can be tenderly shaped and graciously mastered. As the wheel of time turns and the sun's incandescent rain wanes, the metal element emerges, its season marked by the poignant transformation of nature that autumn heralds. Leaves transition to hues of burnished gold and copper, painting a landscape that is both hauntingly beautiful and elegantly stark. In this time of year, there's a palpable crispness that commands attention, a certain stillness that speaks to the austerity and raw purity of metal. It is this phase of the metal element without that lures out the same shimmering essence within us, asking for recognition and reverence, evoking a resonance in our soul that vibrates with its innate vibrancy. Autumn's gentle descent carries with it a symphony of subtle yet charged nuances, each leaf that flutters to the ground a silent invocation of metal's core lessons. The clarity of the cool air, the uncluttered vastness of space after the tree branches have bared their souls, mirrors the clarifying journey we must embark upon within ourselves. 
Just as the metal element imparts its cool edge to nature's canvas, stripping it to its bare, beautiful bones, we too are beckoned to pare down to our own essence, to strip away non-essential layers and find beauty in the simplicity and precision that remains. The quintessence of this element without touches us deeply and reflects upon our inner realm, encouraging us to hone and refine our own identity with the same precision that metal embodies. In this act of personal alchemy, we encounter the elements that feed into and control metal, engaging in a delicate interplay that shapes our practice. The earth element which precedes metal in the cyclical unfolding of the seasons offers up its ripe abundance as fodder for transformation. From earth's nurturing embrace springs the necessity that feeds metal's form, the rich loam that tempers and molds the discipline and structure that metal dictates. It is in the harvest that we gather the fruits to sustain us through metal's season a metaphor for cultivating the inner resources that will support our time of reflection and introspection. Yet, for all its enduring strength, metal is governed by fire, the force that tempers and reshapes it. Fire, representing warmth and exuberance, is the element that melts metal, allowing it to be recast into tools of utility and beauty. As such, our engagement with metal is an intricate dance that incorporates the radiant energy of fire to soften its edges. We lean into fiery practices that keep our inner metal malleable, whether through the passion of our pursuits, the attrition of old patterns, or the illumination that comes from self-examination under the caress of this blessing flame. In practice, connecting with metal's seasonal rain is a multi-layered experience that captures the vivid yet monochromatic spectacle of autumn. It invites us to connect with the lung and large intestine meridians associated with the element to release both physical and emotional waste. Practices like Qigong and Tai Chi become explorations of the body's capacity for fluidity within the firmness of precise movements, and breathing exercises evolve into meditations on the tension between hold and release. Our breath becomes the bellows at the blacksmith's forge, our thoughts and intentions the iron that is shaped by fiery focus and cooled into the clarity of a sharpened blade. We channel metal's energy in our surroundings by creating an environment that reflects its principles, aesthetically harmonious spaces that echo the uncluttered serenity of autumnal forests and fields. Journaling practices deepen at this time, our words wrought with the meticulous care of a jeweler setting precious stones, each sentence inscribed with intentionality and reflection. Autumn is metal's whispered invitation to journey inward, to resonate with its deep purity, and to cultivate a spiritual sharpness that can slice through life's superfluities. To infuse practice with metal's attributes is to walk the earth amidst the fall of leaves with a sense of emboldened clarity. It is to embrace the poignant beauty of decay and transformation, to gaze upon the stark silhouettes against a twilight sky and to find a profound peace in life's undeniable transience. With metal as our guide through this season of mellow fruitfulness and somber grace, we allow the alchemy of existence to refine us, to forge from us creations of enduring worth, etched with the intricate designs of our most authentic selves. Beneath the stark alabaster dome of winter skies, where silence seems to crystallize and hang heavy in the air, the water element comes into its sovereign reign. In this hibernating world, swathed in shades of twilight blue and icy white, rivers slow to a whisper, their surfaces glazed with frost, and the vast sea cradles secrets in its depths, a timeless sentinel to the long introspective nights. Here the season of water is paramount, an endless ebb and flow of quiet strength and profound reflection that mirrors the introspective journey upon which we are beckoned to embark. During these months, when each breath hangs like a cloud and nature douses its vibrancy for a subdued palate, the phase of water without stirs the same element within us, awakening a latent tangle of dreams, emotions and depthless potential.
It is the time for our inner water to surface, subtle and supple, urging us to connect with the visceral resonance of our own deep-seated intuition and to listen to the whisper of our most hidden thoughts. Water is an ode to the mysteries lurking below the surface of consciousness, and its dominion inspires us to dive into the wellspring of our innermost selves, where the raw, unfiltered essence of our being lies in wait. As winter cloaks the world in its chilly embrace, the chill and quietude around us coax us into a reflective solitude. In the stillness, much like the unseen currents beneath a serene, frozen lake, our emotions and subconscious churn with quiet activity. This is when introspection becomes our compass and we learn valuable insights from the mutable, flowing properties of water, the willingness to adapt, to find new paths through our internal landscape, to wear away the sharp edges of our resistance with the gentle assertiveness of a persistent stream. In the grand orchestration of the elements, water finds both nourishment and constraint. It is fed by the metal of the crisp late autumn air, where the clarity of thought and sharpness of the senses enrich the emotional and fluid properties of water. Metal provides structure to water's boundlessness, giving form and focus to its wandering tides, much like a riverbed directs the course of its river. This symbiosis teaches us to shape our emotional flux with mindfulness, to channel our deepest insights with a refined clarity that metal's disciplined edge offers. And yet, the element that controls water in the natural balancing act of elements is earth, with its stabilizing grounding properties, like soil that absorbs and contains water's flow. Earth tempers water's vast and seeping reach, providing the grounding energy we need to remain rooted even as we explore the depths of our emotions and spirit. To integrate earth into our winter practice is to cultivate solidity amidst fluidity. It is standing firm on the shoreline as the tides of life and inner experiences lap against our being. Our practice in water's season is rich with ritual and symbol, a testament to water's emotional tapestry and mutable essence. Journeying with the water element means conscious engagement with practices such as meditative baths that replicate the womb-like tranquility of a still pond, hydration ceremonies that remind us of the soul's thirst for meaning and connection, or breathwork that emulates the undulating rhythms of ocean waves to soothe and sink the rhythms of our hearts with the patient pulse of the universe. We are creatures of water, born of fluid, cradled in its embrace, and it is within the wintry dominion of water that we discover the art of true flow, the seamless transition between states of being, the grace of letting go, and the courage of delving into the fathomless depths of self. We understand then that to yield is not to surrender, but to overcome with agility and grace. It is the sublime art of navigating life's tempests with a calm certainty that each crest and trough is but a path to new horizons. In the seasons of our lives, as in the seasonal rhythms of earth, water's phase is a solace and a challenge, an opportunity to reside within our inner sanctums and emerge renewed, our reservoirs filled with insights as potent and life-sustaining as the element that has traversed continents, been a witness to eons, and resides within the very essence of all living things. With water as our muse and guide, we embrace the boundless journey of the soul, our paths lit by the bioluminescent glow of deep undercurrents, each step an affirmation of the transformative power of depth, adaptability, and the wisdom born of stillness. As we conclude our elemental odyssey, it's clear that the dance of the five elements within and around us is far more than mystic musings or philosophical posturings. It's the pulsing vein of existence, the choreography that thrives beneath our skin and within our breath, quietly shaping our odyssey through life. The wisdom of wood, fire, earth, metal and water is a symphony that has whispered its secrets since time immemorial, and now it sings its ancient song to you.
Sage Snippets has been your companionship through this spiritual tapestry, a guiding star in the navigation of this profound journey between the ethereal and the palpable. Our journey together dances along the edges of discovery, gently tugging at the threads of understanding that weave the visible and invisible into a single wondrous universe. Now we turn to you, seekers and kindred spirits who have ventured with us into the depths of ancient knowledge and emerged with eyes alight with curiosity. Sage Snippets is your sanctum, your ever-present guide through the fold of mysteries and marvels that feather the fabric of our shared existence. In the alchemy of thoughts and discourse, your experiences become the crucible where wisdom is born. We invite you, with open hearts and inquiring minds, to let your insights cascade down the channels of communication. Share your stories. How have the elements shaped your path? How have each of the five softened, fired, grounded, sculpted, and washed over your life's canvas? Sage Snippets thrives on your reflections, for it is in your tales that truths are mirrored and amplified. As we delve into the elemental, don't forget to plant a sapling of support with a like for Sage Snippets, nurturing the growth of our community with your engagement. Subscribe to the flow of wisdom. Let the waters of sage snippets quench your thirst for the enlightening and esoteric. And ring the bell, a modern-day chime, transporting you to new elevations with each piece of content that spirals from the ether to your awareness. Before we part, we bequeath you a token of levity. They say you shouldn't trust atoms, they make up everything. But perhaps that's just what they want us to believe, in the same way that the elements conspire to shape our perception of reality, a cosmic jest to keep us on our toes. With that, dear navigator of life's mysterious realms, Sage Snippets bids you adieu. May your journey be as balanced as the finest sculptor's masterpiece, and your discoveries as deep as the most sacred springs. Until our paths cross again in the dance of the eternal elements, keep bending reality and stay elemental.